Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today is sort of a two-parter. I'm doing two episodes today and hoping to have both out. Um, the first one is being filmed well now and it is a homebrew based one which is the ginger wine that I've been making. Now this one was actually, I hoped it wasn't going to be the first of the homebrew um, instructionals that I put out, uh, mainly because we had a mead one which um, I'm still trying to kind of salvage from the wife's iPad. Um, so I do apologise to anyone who wanted to see the mead video. So yeah, this video is going to be about the ginger wine that we made from a kit. Um, both the ginger wine and the next episode's homebrew, which is apricot, were both made directly from kits. Obviously you can make ginger wine or apricot wine from scratch. Um, however, I don't know how to make that yet. Because I'm just a bit of an idiot like that. But the clips um, in this video will show you the entire process that I used to make the wine right from opening the packet to bottling it. So I hope you enjoy it. informative um, I hope the soundtrack didn't make you just want to just throw yourself out the window um, this is one of the finished bottles we've made five in total a kit of that size will normally make about six um, we tended to have a little bit of wastage due to the sediment in the demijohn um, but I'm not too unhappy about that I think five decent number of uh, bottles great from that now as I said um, in the text before this bit um, 
you can leave these to age normally if you leave mine to age it does improve the flavor i'm probably going to leave these for about uh at least two months um we're aiming to bring at least one of these bottles to the um gathering which is the lorry and trust big event of the year in august um i might try one of these in the next month but um really mine it won't start to be bottled um we should probably leave it for at least a couple of months just to kind of like settle and just live nice and happily in this glass bowl so as i said before um there is eight cup wine um also being filmed today um hopefully i'll have that up for you as well um depending on how youtube kind of gets their process and times up seriously it takes about an hour just to upload one video on this thing but with any luck i'll be able to have both of them up for you um hopefully it will kind of give you an insight into how you can make wine from a kit because most of these generally have the same kind of method involved in doing it um, obviously with some wines you might have differences um we had an elderflower one which we actually had to add the dried elderflowers um part way through the process but i find that certainly making the wines from the kit has been a good start of like figuring it out you know do you really want to start making wine um, as a serious hobby because before we get into the whole um, concepts of getting all of the things you need to mash grapes with or whatever you know you want to actually decide do you actually enjoy it enough to make it into a serious hobby feel free to like um, comment on this video if you've liked it or if you've got any feedback for me please feel free to subscribe um, especially more home brewers I'd really like to see more home brewers on here um, kind of sharing their experiences of um, how their home brew experiments have gone good or bad and thanks again for watching guys